this video is all about the white horse challenge now this isn't like an official challenge that's literally just why i've named it because that's kind of what i'm doing uh, just to explain a little bit about this video and about this challenge i'm going to do a bike ride visiting every single white horse in wiltshire uh, so what i'll do now i've got these maps in front of me um, i'm not really following a specific route and i'm not really planning a route as such i'm not following a map i'm kind of getting ideas where i need to go i've got a good idea of most of the locations um, some of them are going to be a bit tricky i'm sure i'll get lost on a few a few bits um, but I don't want to plan a specific route because that's part of the fun, getting lost and just seeing where I end up. For those of you that have no idea about the white horses, I'm just going to share my screen now, do a screen recording, go into Google. Um, how many white horses in Wiltshire? As you can see, there are 13 white horses, which is quite a lot, but apparently a lot of them have... Um, been covered up with turf and they're not really visible so I've gone to the Wiltshire Council website now and I'm pretty sure there are eight that are still visible so that's the challenge I'm going to do a bike ride and visit eight of the white horses that are still visible in Wiltshire there is one of them that's not in Wiltshire um, I'm not going to visit that one obviously uh, so we've got Alton Barnes, Broadtown, Cherry Hill, Devizes, Hackpen, Marlborough, Pusey and Westbury, uh, which is gonna be a really good ride. We live around here, so I'm gonna go up to Chair Hill, then I'm gonna go up to Broadtown, then Hackpen, then Marlborough, then Pusey, then Westbury, then Alton Barnes, then Devizes, and then back home. I've tried to like calculate the distance. Um, it's pretty tricky because some of them don't really come up on Apple Maps. A few of them have come up on the phone. Um, I'm going to try not to use the phone as much as possible because that's all part of the fun, just trying to go with uh, your sense of direction. <laughs> Here we are already, uh, just about to head out now. It's about 10.30, I think, so leaving a little bit later than I probably should have, but pff, oh well. Shit happens, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I'm going to be on the propelled today didn't really fancy taking out the tt bike uh raced the 10 mile tt on it yesterday had a really good thrashing but i think for a longer ride i just prefer to be on the road bike really got loads of snacks in my pocket um i think it's about time to go i'm just uh procrastinating a little bit we're already at horse number one about seven miles into the ride uh this is cheryl cheryl that's how you say it. So I don't know if you can see over there, that's the Cheryl sign. And then up there is the white horse. Whether you can see that or not, I'm not too sure. So I'm gonna take a photo and pop that on the screen. Don't know if you can see it behind me. And there's the monument up there as well. So monument, wherever my finger is up there somewhere. And then white horse over there. Boom, let's go on to the next one. Broadtown white horse managed to get a bit closer. There she is just over there. I really hope you can see it. Just taken a photo, so I'll pop that on screen now. Next one's Hackpen, so it's up Broadtown Hill. Then Hackpen is the next hill, so it shouldn't be too much further. That's number two checked off the list. Now on to number three. So here we are at the Hackpen white horse. This hill is a bugger, but here we are, we've got the third one just up ahead. I'll pop a photo on screen again because you probably can't see it that well with the GoPro. But yeah, this hill goes up, then we drop back down, head towards Marlborough, probably have a coffee. Let's change gear, probably a good idea. Probably have a coffee in Marlborough and uh, head towards the one in Marlborough, which I have no idea where it is, but we'll figure out. Mm. That's good. 
living the dream right now. <laughs> About an hour and 40 in, I think. So still early days. Normally a bit of a rip off. Well, it is a rip off, but. Mm. It's pretty good. I've got a good place to stop a little bit later on between the Pusey White Horse and the Westbury White Horse. I know a little independent cafe, which would be really nice. We normally do some good cake, which is the reason why I like riding bikes. <laughs> Normally on these long rides, I think I put on weight from all the stops I do. <laughs> it's all shits and giggles till someone giggles and shits. I'm on the A4 now. Uh, this is the one that's going to be quite tricky, I think. I'm not too sure where it is. I thought I'd be able to see it over there. And that's the direction that it is in, but I'm not too sure of its exact location. And the road that I need to be on is over there to get to Pusey. So I might go over there and see if I can see it, but I thought I'd have to come along the A4 to see it. Um, and my dad told me, because my dad works in Marlborough, and he was like, yeah, you can see it from the A4. I think he's just fucking mugged me off. He hasn't seen a fucking white horse. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I've been mugged off by my dad. Cheers, mate. Uh, so I think I'm going to have to go back into Marlborough, turn right, and go on the main road towards Pusey, and hopefully I'll see it at the top. But I'm not, not too sure. Ah, shit. Okay, I completely take that back. He was right. <laughs> I just couldn't see it because I'm not going to lie. It doesn't look like much of a white horse. It looks like a brown horse and it's just shit, to be honest. But anyway, that is definitely it because I've just looked on Google Images to see where it is or what it looks like and it looks exactly like that. You might not be able to see it, but it is just up there. It looks a bit brown. And like I said, a little bit rubbish. I'll pop a photo on the screen. Again, like the photo is not great. Um, I think this is the best location I'll be able to see it from just outside Marlborough College, the private school. Um, I'm going to be heading up that way anyway, because that's the main road to Pusey. So I'll see if I can get a better location to view it from. But to be honest, I think this is as good as it's going to get. Uh, because if I'm on the hill that it's on, I won't really be able to see it. So there you go. It's just up there. I promise I'm not cheating. <laughs> GoPro it always seems further away because you can't zoom in, but it's just there. Pop a photo on screen as well. Lovely weather, really nice. Uh, nice little gritty path to get here. You can see the main road actually comes up this like tree line here and goes. There's a car just coming down there, but uh, if I was riding up the main road, I wouldn't see it. So I think I've probably picked the best path, even though it's a bit off. Uh, off the bleeding track. Just before I get going again, a little recap. Uh, that's five down, three to go. That means obviously quick maths. <laughs> uh, so we've done Cheryl, uh, Broadtown, Hackpen, Marlborough. We've just done Pusey and we've got left Westbury, Alton Barnes and the Visors and then head home. So yeah, we're ticking them off nicely. So uh, really sorry that I had to cut the video short there. Uh, unfortunately, my GoPro uh, memory card decided that it was full, even though it kind of wasn't. Weirdly, GoPro does this thing, so you delete files, um, but if you don't empty your, uh, your bin folder while the SD card or the memory card is in uh, the computer or the laptop, then it doesn't actually erase. So I was building up all of these uh, bits of footage and I thought, well, I had put them in the bin folder, but I hadn't deleted them from the bin folder. So halfway through the ride or towards the end of that ride, um, the, uh, the GoPro decides to be full of memory, uh, even though I've got 64 gigs. And yeah, anyway, bit of a nightmare. Didn't realize that was, um, that was a thing. So I've, yeah, basically didn't manage to get the last bit of content out to you, uh, which is really unfortunate, but what I'm going to do now is prove <laughs> that I did do it uh, by doing a screen recording now. 
Okay, so as you can see, this is uh, the ride that I did. And overall, 153.57 kilometers, five and a half hours of moving time. Um, and if we scroll down, you'll see that the yeah, start and finish here, up around here. So that was when where the first um, white horse was, Cheryl. Then out to Broadtown, which is here. Hackpen here, Marlborough here, Pusey here. And then you'll see that I actually, originally I was gonna go straight from Pusey to Westbury, then back to Devizes to do those two, and then come back. But I thought that was a bit counterproductive and I thought that would add on a bit of unnecessary time. There's no point in coming down here to come back to here. So you can see I kind of was going to go towards Westbury and then I could see these two white horses in the distance. So I thought, okay, let's get these two done. So Alton Barnes devises, then out towards Westbury, which is a bit of a slog. Um, probably could have found a quicker route along there and then back home. Uh, uh, average speed, 28 kilometers an hour. Max speed, 102, round up, 102 kilometers an hour. Um, which to be honest, I don't really know where I did that. That's quite fast. <laughs> but anyway, um, that is the ride. And yeah, unfortunately, um, also the photos, which is really weird. So I took the photos on my phone because I wanted to prove to you that I'd done them uh, because on the GoPro, you can't really see because you can't zoom in and it's such a wide lens. It doesn't really have good distance, uh, so you can't really see. Um, and the photos I've got on my phone transferred onto my laptop, but then DaVinci Resolve didn't like some of the photos. I like only uploaded a few of them. It didn't upload the rest of them, which is really weird. So anyway, I'm going to prove to you now that I did do it. So, numero one, there's Cheryl. This is Broadtown, number two. This is Hackpen, number three. And this is the really shit one. This is Marlborough, number four. You can hardly see it, to be honest. It is there somewhere. It's kind of like around that bit there. Number five, okay, Pusey I didn't actually take a photo of, but you can see on the Strava map that I did go to Pusey, so just, you know, let's pretend that I did it. Uh, <laughs> uh, so that was number six. Uh, no, number five. Number six is Alton Barnes. That's that one. Number seven, Devizes. That's that one. And then number eight is Pusey. And that's that one. So you can see all of them. I've got proof of all of them apart from Pusey, but Hopefully you'll believe that I did go to Pusey because it is on my Strava. Uh, but yeah, kind of butchered that ride a little bit. Um, but all in all, it was a really nice ride. Really enjoyed it. It was something a bit different. And that's what I've kind of um, kind of tried to do during this time, this lockdown period, is do things that are a little bit different. Um, and that's a good way of getting in a long ride, but kind of having something like to mentally stimulate you during the ride. Because five and a half hours, it's a long time to be on your bike just thinking about riding um, whereas doing something like that is really cool so I would challenge all of you to do something like that um, let me know what you thought of the challenge in the in the comment section below let me know if you've done something different because I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts and whether you've got some cool ideas for future challenges as well because that's um, kind of what I'm interested in doing at the minute really hope you enjoyed the video um, if you did enjoy the video as always please like share comment and subscribe if you haven't done already just by clicking over to my right and if you want to watch another video from my channel, just click below and I'll see you in the next one.